Hello, I'm Geraldine Walters, ACT Fundraising Manager of Cerebral Palsy Alliance in the ACT. I have worked for this not-for-profit organisation for a period of 26 years, commencing as a recruitment officer for the Miss Australia Quest back in 1979 in Sydney. After six months of recruiting young women as participants for the Quest, I was promoted to Functions and Events Manager for the Spastic Centre as it was formerly known up until February of this year. After relocating to the ACT in 1982, I was approached by the Spastic Centre Management from Sydney Head Office to manage fundraising and the Miss Australia Awards in Canberra. After 16 years and raising hundreds of thousands of dollars in the ACT, the Miss Australia Awards was brought to a close in 2000 and all staff were retrenched. In 2004, I was asked once again if I would return to the Spastic Centre to fundraise and to lift the profile of the organisation in Canberra. This time the fundraising was to be of a different nature as the centre in Canberra was able to offer therapy services to children with cerebral palsy and their families. Before that, we had been a fundraising and referral centre to our Sydney headquarters. My role is to work with our major corporate sponsor, Clubs ACT, a group of 14 clubs coming together to form a partnership with Cerebral Palsy Alliance. Funding from the clubs has enabled Cerebral Palsy Alliance to offer therapy services in Canberra instead of families having to attend appointments in Sydney. This proved to be a huge cost saving and of great benefit to all concerned. The club's ACT partnership is now in its 11th year with an agreement to run a further two years right through until 2013. I have worked with fabulous sponsors who have supported Cerebral Palsy Alliance over the years and the major component of my job is to build a network of contacts for ongoing fundraising and of course to constantly nurture the backbone of our organisation being the sponsors, donors, media and friends of Cerebral Palsy Alliance. Various programs, functions, events and bequests throughout each year contribute to us being able to attain our fundraising target. We then look to Cerebral Palsy Alliance in New South Wales to bridge the gap needed to run our therapy services each year. Cerebral Palsy is a permanent disability which affects movement. It results from damage to the developing brain, usually before birth. Every 15 hours, an Australian child is born with cerebral palsy. That means one in 400 babies. There is no known cure, and for most, the cause is not fully understood. Cerebral palsy is a lifelong condition, and its impact varies from person to person. Cerebral Palsy Alliance in the ACT provides therapy services, programs and equipment for babies, children and teenagers with cerebral palsy. We are committed to assisting these individuals to enhance their quality of life and make the most of their participation in the community.